Welcome to a live tweet chat at the Community Health Network Cancer Center at Community Hospital North in Indianapolis, Indiana. Answering questions are Dr. Sumit Bhatia, an MD Anderson certified oncologist, and Dr. Priya Young, a dermatologist at Dawes Fretzen. Also, Blythe Bartell, social media analyst for Community, will be fielding questions live from Twitter. Listen in to learn more about skin cancer and understand why it is such an important issue. I'll start with you, Dr. Bhatia. Um, if you could give me an idea, how do you and when do you see patients with skin cancer at your point in the practice? Um, the kinds of patients that I see are pa patients with advanced melanoma, which essentially are stage three and four melanoma. We do see occasional patients with squamous cell carcinoma, uh, uh, chiefly in, cons in consultative capacity, though that's more in the rim of the radiation oncologist. Our practice with skin cancer is usually confined to stage three and four melanomas. Uh, we treat patients with stage three melanoma because once we know that a tumor is more than four millimeters in thickness or is present in the lymph nodes, the calculated relapse rate is, over, is could be more than of the order of 40 to 70%. Uh, patients come to us chiefly to consider what we call adjuvant therapy, which is treatments which would help to decrease the risk of relapse. Uh, the second setting in which I, we see patients are those who are unfortunate enough to have metasta metastatic disease, which essentially means the tumor is in other organs like the liver, lung, or bones. One of the special things that we do at Community Health Network is administration of interleukin-2. We are one of the probably 40 or 50 sites around the country uh, which do administer and have staff trained to give patients high dose into look into. Uh, uh, we also offer other therapies to them including ipilumimab. Uh, this has also become an exciting time for melanoma with the advent of new drugs which has definitely changed the landscape and how we treat patients with melanoma. Uh, at Community Health Network, we also have a relationship with MD Anderson, which allows us to collaborate and discuss with them about more difficult patients. We have our first question from Twitter. Um, if I'm heading out into the sun, when should I put on sunscreen? Is it okay to do it right before? Well, I absolutely think that patients should be applying sunscreen a good 15 to 20 minutes before sun exposure for a couple of reasons. One, usually when you're at home relaxing, you're gonna do a much more thorough job applying your sunscreen. It takes some time as well for the sunscreen to absorb before it can become active. And lastly, usually when you're outdoors, you're already sweating or you may be getting ready to jump into a pool, it may be windy, and application of the sunscreen in an effective manner just, manner just becomes more difficult. Thank you.